I like to make things work better. I like puzzles. That's the way I look at everything I, I do here. It's all trying to figure out how things work and make them operate a little bit better. My name's Greg Lampson. I'm a senior facilities engineer with Boston Scientific, a medical device manufacturer. We monitor well into the thousands of data points. Without a system to kind of funnel down the critical points, it certainly can be overwhelming. Building analytics, it makes me look pretty good. It allows us to be more efficient. We've been making a lot of improvements. When I get the quarterly report and it shows that I've continuously reduced energy, that's more they can invest. And then you have fewer complaints because people are happy. The happier they are, the more work they're doing. Good morning, Paris. That was a great video. Very proud of what Greg, the facility manager, could achieve. He said, efficient buildings, fewer complaints. And fewer complaints mean happier people. Happier people means more work, more queries, good things. My name is Manish Kumar. I'm Senior Vice President for Building Management Business at Schneider Electric. So when I think about buildings, I think about people. I think about people, how buildings can empower people to do amazing things. So very excited to speak to you regarding eco-structure building and what we are bringing in 2018 to you to take and enable and empower people like never before. We are all managers and leaders here. We manage large teams, thousands of people. How many times in your daily life you have seen people saying, oh, my environment is not comfortable. It's hot, cold, I'm chasing facility manager to fix things, fix things are not getting done. You know that 37% of the short-term sick leaves can be reduced if you have better ventilated buildings, 35%. Now, you also have seen people trying to find meeting rooms and struggling sometime in buildings that you've never been before. You lose a minute here, you lose a minute there, no big deal when there are only few people. But as I was saying, when you have many people and you multiply that lost hours, lost minutes, it's a loss of huge amount of productivity. And those, that cost can be monumental. Now, if we think about hotels, we all are on the road quite often. Hotels are like second homes to all of us. Again, if we think about hotels, the number one priority of hotel owners and operators is guest experience. Why? That drives the business. And you know, Close to 50% of complaints are coming from guest rooms. Again, the same thing. The hotel room is not providing comfortable environment, hot, cold, and so on and so forth. And you know what happens? When those complaints come, people go to TripAdvisor. And it takes them a few seconds to put a nice comment, and that drives down the rating of your hotels. We believe we can take care of those problems. And every time a TripAdvisor rating goes down, it's difficult to recover from that situation. Now, with eco-structure building, we can address many of these issues. With eco-structure building, open platform that is scalable, secure, as well as global, we can solve these issues. And today, I'd like to talk to you regarding three main capabilities that we are bringing in 2018. The first one is Ecostructure Building Operation 2.0. It's our next generation of integrated building management software that all facility managers and own operators use. Three things we are bringing in this, open, why open is important. You know, traditionally buildings are very rigid architectures. 
difficult to connect with other systems. We are taking a lead in breaking those barriers. We are making the system open. Open means you can connect to many other OT systems, IT systems, but more importantly, you can take the data out of these systems. You can build innovative applications on top of that. Second is mobile. Tomorrow's workforce is going to be mobile. We are building the next generation of building operation to be natively mobile. It just not works on mobile. It is designed for mobile. So that people can have the building system on their tablets or phones, and they can manage those facilities much more efficiently. The third thing we are bringing with building operation is scale. Tomorrow's buildings are going to be more complex, more devices. You need scalable system that you can connect multiple devices, take the data out, analyze. With building operation 2.0, we are able to deliver systems that are 10 times larger, as well as managing multiple campuses at the same time. The second key capability we are releasing in 2018 is building advisor. As Greg was saying, building advisor is like a facility engineer running 24 into 7. You move from reactive to proactive. When you combine the market leading analytics and insights around mechanical equipment like such as chiller, boiler, air handling units, along with remote scientists and remote uh, experts, we believe you can predict problems faster, you can fix problems faster before people see, and with that, you can reduce 29% of unscheduled maintenance. And when that happens, you have the effect of 33% fewer complaints from people. And that's very, very exciting. Empowering that facility manager to create value in buildings. The third capability we are releasing is SmartX IP controllers and sensors. Why that is important? Historically, the building's architectures are proprietary field buses, connectivity issues, diagnosis issues. With IP architecture, we are reinventing how buildings should be architected. Now you can, you don't need to get up on the ladder with work, you know, big workstations. You can take a mobile phone and you can commission engineers these systems faster. You can diagnose these systems faster. You can connect many devices at scale to these systems. We believe with this, you can save up to 30% time during engineering and commissioning. Now, with all this new technology that is coming, we are taking eco-structure building to a different level. And coming back to what I said, for people, for empowering that facility managers like Greg so they can have insights on their fingertips and they can deliver more efficient buildings. The system integrators, they can innovate with open systems and they can deploy technology faster and last, people like you and me, we can have more comfortable environment and we can be more productive. And that's really exciting. Now, let's have a look at how eco-structure ensures life is on in a hospital. I've seen thousands of births in my time. Each one I treat as special, and I always keep a watchful eye. I can't decide their futures, but I can give them a better chance at life. Amidst all the calm and the chaos, I need to be alert and switched on all the time. I can't make mistakes. I'm equipped for whatever's next, making sure there are no distractions and everyone's focused on the job. That's how I save lives. 
I believe comfort is the best way to recovery. I'm there if you need me to keep you warm at night. Close your curtains or turn on your lights. And with lives at stake, I have to be everywhere. That's why I am always connected, on call 24 seven wherever I may be. I have the power to predict and help you make critical decisions. Spend or save, cut back or go green. My knowledge can be your guide. I'm a smart investor and a steward of sustainability. Your healthcare guardian for future generations. I am your hospital. I'm powered by Schneider Electric. Innovation at every level.